hello guys and welcome to my channel my name is wills and on this channel we learn about writing in today's video i will show you how to format a paper in apa 7th edition it is pretty simple and i will urge you to stay until the end of the video give me comments and subscribe to my channel if you also like you can share the content with other students and writers so without wasting too much time let's get into the video APA 7th edition so when we want to format student papers according to APA 7th edition the first thing you want to format the first element is the layout of your paper so to format the page layout you will click on page layout then you select the normal layout which is one inch at the top one inch from the bottom one inch on the right then one inch on the left so this is the recommended page layout and the margins then the second item is the font now most inst institutions recommend times new roman font but you should be keen on the instructions some examiners would recommend a different font so to set the font you go to home then you choose the font type as times new roman then the size is 12 this will make the text in the entire document to be in times new roman 12 then the other item that we want to format or to set is the spacing now the spacing you go to paragraph tab then you select double spacing apa 7th edition recommends double spacing so you choose two under the spacing section so once we have the font layout and the spacing the next I element or about APA 7th edition is the header now all your pages should have a page header this is where you will have the page number so to insert the header you go to insert then you head here to page number then you choose the plane number three so this will make your page numbers to appear at the top of your paper on the right okay so that's about the header then the first page of your paper is called the title page title page this is the first page of your APA paper now what do we have on the title page there is a list of items that should be written on the title page so the first item on this list is the title of the paper so for example if your paper is about the effects effects of COVID-19 
tin on mental health this is how you are supposed to write the title of your paper and the, it should be descriptive enough to summarize what your paper is all about if your title is too long you can split it and make it uh, appear in two sentences okay so that is about the title then the second item is the name of the author so you simply write your name you are the student you write your name if you have an initial you write before the last name so that is about the name then the next item is your institutional affiliation so here you are supposed to write the department and the institution so you write the department for example if you are in the biological sciences department you write biological sciences department then you put the name of the institution institution okay so that is about the institution then after the institution you write the name of the course and the title so if you are studying for example anatomy you write anatomy you write the course initials then you write the title the number of the course okay then the next item is the instructor's name so you should write the name of your instructor based on the correct salutation in the uh, universities you will have professors you will have doctors and you'll have other instructors who have not achieved those levels so it is always good to ask whoever is your instructor what is the correct salutation don't just go calling somebody a professor if he's not a professor or you may call a a professor doctor when he wants to be called as professor so it is good to ask and ensure that you provide the correct salutation so we have the instructors name and correct salutation then the last item on the title page should be the due date this is the date when you are supposed to submit the assignment so these are the items that should be written on the title page now that you have you have the items you should format them properly so the title of your paper should be in bold font okay then the alignment of these items should be at the center they should be center aligned like this so in brief that is how we you you are supposed to do the title page in APA format. Seventh. Well, guys, once you have the title page, the next item on your APA seventh edition paper is the abstract, 
and I want to talk about the abstract now an abstract is an important page on your APA paper an abstract summarizes your paper now for example if you are doing a research paper you need to summarize the introduction you need to put a summary about uh, the materials and methods you also need to talk about the findings or results in the abstract then you conclude what are the conclusions you draw from that research so in this context I want to emphasize that the APA paper might not require an abstract if it's a small piece of writing for example one or two or three pages assignment may not require an abstract so it is important to ask your instructor whether an abstract is required or not okay so once you have passed the abstract the next thing should be the main text of your paper so we have the main text where we have all your major points and uh, this is where you need to show organization the examiners are very keen on how your work is organized so organization starts from paragraphing examiners expect that you put your work in paragraph form now a paragraph should be at least three sentences and they should be properly cited according to APA standards that is in a, in a separate video so the beginning of your paragraph the first sentence of your paragraph should be indented 0 0.5 inch now just before I forget the first page of your text should start with the title of your paper that is the main topic okay so that is about paragraphing then another important thing that is emphasized in APA 7th edition is the use of section headings section headings are very important for organizing your write-up so you are required to use different levels of section headings so for example you might have the first heading the first section heading as literature review let's assume this paper is about a literature review so this forms your first heading that is the first level heading and you should you should center it and bold okay then under the first level heading you might have uh, second level headings like lifestyle changes okay so this one should be left aligned So another thing I would like to focus on and bring your attention to is the spacing in between the lines. Always ensure that there is one space between your words. Now a tool you can use for ensuring that you have one space is this tool here. 
the show or hide paragraph marks you can show them you see it will show you the spacing whether it's one space or not it is very important like here there are two spaces you can delete like that so this ensures that your work is as neat as possible and it's well organized so that is on the main text then finally your paper should uh, have references 